Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be talking about the worst books that I read in the year of 2018 and <laughs> I have don't have most of these because I either got rid of them or that kind of thing or I just don't want to look for them right now <laughs> so we'll go through these um don't be mad if I hate your favorite book um but if you really want to be bad go ahead it's whatever everyone has their own opinion cool first up here I have a flux which this is a poetry collection I just saw the cover and like it's published by a publishing company I really love and I was hearing good things about it and it just let me down so much like it was so standard and just nothing was like redeeming about it and I was just like really like it's such a beautiful book too and it's just like no next up here I have a controversial one that um but that is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell I buddy read this with some of my friends I remember at the beginning of this year we all didn't like it at all um there was a lot of issues we had with it i have a whole review on it so i'll link that up above and down below as well that review constantly gets hate comments which is adorable yeah fangirl was really not my thing i didn't like the writing i thought there were a lot of jokes that shouldn't have been made i thought it was it's overhyped in my opinion and i just thought a lot of things about it were just bad and I'm like, why is this a popular thing? I don't get it. Next up, I have Dear Aunt Catherine. This is a book that I got sent for review by a self-published author. And I was so excited for this. And like, I love reading book by, books by self-published authors to like help them get their name out there and stuff like that. And I love like giving hype to good books that are like not that popular that deserve the hype. But this book talked about rape and there was some non-consensual scenes. I couldn't with this, no. Absolutely not. Next up, I have We Are, we Are Okay by Nina LaCour. This again, beautiful cover, like concept of grief and stuff like that. And it just overall let me down. It just didn't have um, a lot of substance to it. It lacked in so many areas. It was kind of dull. Uh, the grief aspect could have been like fleshed out a lot more. It just kind of seemed like a really like dull book. Like There just wasn't much to it. Next, I have Chasers of the Light, which this is another poetry collection. Um, this I was so excited for because like these poetry collections you see around a lot like they have really fancy photography in them and they have nice poetry along with them but I read one didn't like it the pictures were the best part but like the poetry just sucked and I was like no so I have Wild Blue Wonder and this is just a YA book YA contemporary book I actually got an arc of it but I just couldn't get into this I just had a lot of disconnect I didn't like like the plot sounded so interesting but I didn't like the characters I just had a huge disconnect with the story so like that's about it with that one I also have Smoke and Mirrors which this one is another poetry collection this is an erotic poetry collection um I think I've talked about the author's other poetry collection that they've written but I just hate erotic poetry like reading this author's poetry I just hate erotic poetry um I think like there'll be these beautiful lines and then it'll be super blunt at the end it'll kind of ruin the flow of the poem um I don't think they get a certain message across I just think they really lack and they're just kind of like there and I'm like okay next I have On the Fence by Casey West which this Casey West book I just wasn't a fan of um I couldn't get into it no matter how hard I tried I tried it several times for different readathons and things like that couldn't get into it for the life of me um ended up dnfing that one and last but not least this was probably like a more of a disappointing one but this is disconnected which this is a collection of poems and short stories by a bunch of poetry writers um a lot of which a lot of whom i love like amanda lovelace cyrus parker um just a lot of really great modern poetry writers that deserve more recognition were in this collection and I just personally think that they should stick to poetry like short stories weren't great for a lot of them um I think Nikita Gill was in this one as well which I did like her collection just there was a lot of things that weren't great about this one and it's just like no like I didn't even like the poetry sections of these um I didn't like the short stories that they wrote it just lacked so much for me now so sad because again I got an arc of it and it just really lacked for me so yeah anyways there you guys have it those are the worst uh, most disappointing least favorite books that I read this year let me know your thoughts down below and some of your least favorite books of the year be sure to comment down below if you have anything to say as well as like and subscribe I'd very much appreciate it I also have a channel feedback survey in linked in my description box if you want to fill that out that just gives me feedback on my channel for 2019 and some things that I want to incorporate and like your thoughts on those things and just some things like that so yeah I'd really appreciate it if you filled that out but thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll see you super soon